first of all, it must be nice to be back in the fold and, and back playing again after a, a frustrating few weeks. Yeah, it's uh, it's great, you know. I mean, obviously, I came back against the uh, MK Lons on Boxing Day. Really enjoyed that. I was living for that game quite a while. Um, you know, I've had a good week of training. I'm feeling good. The injury feels fine. So I can't wait to get home tomorrow. How much does that play on your mind when you come back from an injury that you're you're wondering if you're going to feel it again? This this time around, I don't have that thought one bit. Um, obviously, like obviously, I came out against Sheffield Wednesday, but a lot of people don't know I was actually playing on that since Ipswich. So I had a bit of an injury issue with that since Ipswich. Um, so when I came out the first time round, it was a little bit of relief. And were, Let's get it right. I'm, out, I'm playing and playing. And I came back and I still wasn't quite right. It was still a little bit wrong when I came back against Doncaster. But this time around, when I've come back, I feel feel good. I feel sharp. I feel light. Everything feels good. So, yeah, I have no issues. And I guess it's just about recapturing that form at the start of the season for yourself now, isn't it? Now you get hopefully get a run in the uh, games again. Yeah, I was obviously uh, up to my injury and stuff. I, I was quite happy with uh, I was very happy with how the season was going uh, individually. Um, so, the, yeah, as I said, I just need to get back playing and not to put too much pressure on myself too soon. But I'm sure the more games that I play, the fitter I get, that form that I had at the start of the year will continue again when I'm back. Obviously, it's a, a different campaign this year, being in a, a battle at the bottom rather than at the top. But how important will the fans be in this battle between now and the end of the season? Of course, the, the fans are massive for any club. Um, you know, obviously, when I came on the other day, I seen the reception that I got personally from the fans, which was brilliant, and uh, I loved it. And for the team as well, you know, a lot of Lincoln fans had been supportive of the club when they were in the National League days, and they've had a lot of success. Now we're here. We're having a bit of a slight dip this season, which happens in football. It's the way it goes. And I'm sure the fans are sick with us the way they have been. And once we turn the results and we're all um, celebrating the wins together, it'll all be good. And, and I guess it's just about trying to keep that belief and confidence up despite where you are on the table. Yeah, look, last season, you know, I might, I might sound mad, but even when we were doing really well on a great run, we weren't fixed that much on looking at the table. And I think it has to be quite similar this year, although we're at the other end. Um, we know as a group what we can produce. We have produced it on occasions, but we haven't maybe got the results. And, you know, we have injuries coming back. We have new players coming in. So I think going forward, um, we'll be fine. Just need to keep the confidence up and belief of what we can do and yeah, we'll be fine. Obviously, Morgan Whitaker's joined the, the attacking options. What have you made of him, what you've seen in training so far? Yeah, we were training yesterday together. We were uh, training together. I enjoyed, enjoyed playing with him. He looks a good player. He is, he is a good player. So, yeah, he'll be massive for us. Um, and it's great just to bring another attacker in to play with. Yeah, it's, uh, he looks good for us. Wonderful. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Rob. Uh, Mark Wiley. Uh, hi, Anthony. How are you doing? Uh, good, thanks. You? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Um, how, how are you feeling about the up upcoming run of games? You've got some really tough ones. I mean, Oxford and then Sunderland. They don't come much tougher than that, do they? I can't wait for them. Yeah, really can't wait for them. These are the games now that, that well, you live for, really. You know, Sunderland away, obviously, we had a bit of history from last season. And it's one game that we um, I looked at this season. I thought, I can't wait for that to come around again. So, yeah, every game's important, but um, the next few are big games and we're looking forward to them. I mean, there's been a bit of talk, um, of, as there usually is at this time of year, um, because of your start to the season, you've been linked with other clubs in the Championship. How do you feel about that? Do you take it as a compliment? Do you pay any attention to it? I've seen, obviously, I've seen the, um, the, the news and stuff about that. And, yeah, I take it as a massive compliment to, obviously, that I've had a good start to the season so far. But then the um, Lincoln City player, and all I really am focused on is this game tomorrow. I've been looking at it for a couple of weeks now to get myself ready for it. And that's all I can think about. I can't wait for it. Have you got any particular targets for this year at all? Perhaps uh, getting involved with the senior island setup, stuff like that. Um, I was I was really looking at um, more like Lincoln City targets and any yeah. inter international things that come along with that. And um, it'll be a bonus. I got quite I got well, I got quite close uh, around October to getting called up, and um, obviously the injury came. So my main focus is get back fit, playing for Lincoln, get back to the level that I was at pre-me injury with me performances and the goals and stuff and then the international um, call-up follows, that'd be great.